for this step, we're going to sew along the edge of the tarp. I'm going to do the hem around the edge of the tarp. I like to use about a half inch fold and about a three quarter inch fold. And sew right on the edge. So once I get that started, get the needle in there, then I can fold on it, hold down. And while I'm, before I forget, I'm going to put my care label in there. Now as I'm sewing around, we're going to put reinforcements in the corners and then three places in between each corner. And as you come along, you'll see that there'll be some kind of a notch, a V or a clip or something. They aren't always the tidiest because I do it in a great big stack and notch, notch them all at once. But we're going to roll it over and hide that in there and put a reinforcing triangle as we go. So, make sure we got that in about the right spot. Looks like it's right about there. So we're going to just tuck that in there. So there are going to be three of these on the side, and then one in each corner. So you got to kind of keep your eye out. Um, now where there's a the center seam, there won't be a notch, but that will be where the, the middle one goes on those two ends. that next notch, there it is. I don't want to go too far before we come across it. Alright, so it's right on the edge of the sewing machine there. close to the end here. This in. Now this is going to be kind of measure that up. See about where it goes in there. Okay, so you can give yourself about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half right in there. Sometimes it's easier to just run it right off the end and clip it and start again. That might be a good way to do it when you're first starting rather than trying to do too, too many things at once. This takes a moment longer and a couple of snips. And you can just start again. It's all nice and flat, level. And then you're going to continue on. I won't videotape the whole thing because it's kind of long. But you continue on until you get to the next 